What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So we're going to take a look at Hyperscapes Season 2 um, on GeForce Now. We're going to take a look at the Battle Pass and we're going to jump into a match and more or less we're we're going to just be looking at how is the game is running now. The, uh, the last time I had played this game during Season 1, um, it could be a bit stuttery and some issues here and there, uh, but it was definitely a playable experience. But since... Going back to this for Season 2, checking out the new Battle Pass, kind of seeing where the game is at. Um, it does seem to have either a matchmaking or a player base issue, and I do think a lot of people find this game not necessarily the easiest to approach. For It's not the easiest Battle Royale to get the hang of. It's definitely not my strong suit. I can't um, do much in this game at all when it comes to gameplay as to where in things like uh, Warzone, Apex, and other games I get a lot of wins. I do really well. Uh, good at those games. Hyperscape, not so much, not at all. But we're going to get into a match anyway, and I want to look at just the latency, how the game feels, how's it looking, what kind of settings are they wanting to run the game at and those type of things so that you'll have an idea of what your experience could be like playing season two assuming it's your gameplay it's going to be a lot better than mine here so uh, one thing i also like is that i haven't had to re-log into you play every time uh, it used to be an issue almost every time i would launch a you play game i would have to re-log in here um, but uh, for the past few days for me, uh, I don't know if there was an update or what, but I haven't had to re-log in to uh, Uplay. It's just been working, so hopefully that will stay that way. So I'm going to speed us up past this part and get us into where we can go and check out the Battle Pass. All right, here we are loaded up into Hyperscape. Let's go ahead and get into our main hub area, and we'll check out the Battle Pass. I'm going to bring up the network statistics also. Because, like I said, this is more for me from the technical side, more about just seeing how does the game look, how does the stream look, how's the latency feel, um, and what the experience is like here. Um, I've played a few rounds the past couple of days just to get re-familiarized with the game a little bit. And I can tell you for sure it's running a lot better than it was when it first launched. Now, this is cool actually because now i'm on the 2060c and earlier when i was recording footage that i had decided not to use for this video i was on the 1080c and what i wanted to mention about that was that the 1080c when this game first came out was very stuttery and would give me a lot of issue um so when i wasn't on the 2060c i just it didn't run very well this is the first time i've been on 2060c in three days of just messing around with this game again I've been on the 1080, and I will say that due to updates or whatever, the game has been running a lot better on the 1080 than it was at launch. So almost as smooth as the 2060, but I can already tell here uh, that the 2060C just does such a better job. Now before we get into the battle pass, let me show you the settings. Now NVIDIA, if you don't know, GeForce Now automatically sets these up each time. So full screen 1080p 60 because we're streaming 1080p 60. Uh, we've got custom because that's how they go with that animation quality ultra high ultra high ultra high so we're pretty much ultra high on everything with this build and it's almost the same with the 1080 as well neither one of these rigs has a problem since we're only capping out at 60 running at max settings so let's jump in here and take a look at season two's battle pass now i got the 25 dollar version where you get the the 26 tiers so you got your free tier up here that you're getting along the way. And then, of course, you've got your premium tier at the bottom. You've got a good amount of Bitcoin to uh, Bit crowns rather to earn in here. I always want to say Bitcoin. Um, I've heard people say, like, you can earn enough in here to buy the next battle pass. Um, I haven't added it all up. So uh, maybe let me know in the comments below if I haven't added up by then uh, how much you get. I kind of find it hard to imagine you could get enough for the $25 version, maybe the 10 so um, here we go. We got Epic Champion, uh, Mondragon, a Street Fighter, Autumn Harpy, Bedazzled, Subane Ripper. We got our Bit Crowns. Now I like how you can right click on the mouse and bring this up to check out to check out everything that you can get in the Battle Pass. Really cool. So I don't want to spend a ton of time here, guys, but I thought for Season 2, let's take a look anyway real quick through here. What 
what you can get. They've got some uh, celebrations, champions, bit crowns. They've got some cool loading screens that you can apply. Oh, yeah, and a ton of anime skins in this season. A lot of anime skins. I thought this was cool that I had seen uh, earlier, the Swallowtail launch pod. Looks really cool. I know even in this game, people don't get to see you in your launch pod very often, but still really cool. There's a couple other ones in here, too, that we'll wind up taking a look at. Uh, let's see. What else do we have that's interesting? Let's just kind of go through. Oh, the anime hex fire again. More anime. I'll show you quite a few of those uh, down through here as we go. Champions. We've got Basilisk uh, Rogue from Assassin's Creed. Definitely awesome. We've got Ace Subame. <clears throat> At the caster D tap. Now, I think they have a version of this with anime. Also, let's see, we've got the Punch-Up Celebration. Oh, yeah, the Animus uh, Deployment Pod. This thing's actually really cool looking as well. I wouldn't mind seeing, like, an all blacked out, but still pretty cool. All right, what do we got? We're almost halfway through here. Just want to go quickly, guys, just kind of going over this. If you see something that's interesting, definitely go check this out. What's this one? A rare. Got the Caster Riot 1. We got the poop emoji in neon. You've got to have the poop emoji in neon. We got our stretches celebration. So there is a lot of bit crowns through here. So maybe there is enough to uh, to get the next battle pass. Got the neon fist bump. Stop. We got another anime, the anime dragonfly. Pull that up here. I mean, they look cool. Um, I am. I personally have not gotten into anime in quite a few years i used to watch a lot of it um but yeah these are really cool skins though through here that they have let's see up to level 61 game over halo tag that's pretty cool what else we got oh yeah this one right here the havoc was another cool blacked out uh pod let's check him out there that was really cool. And look at how smooth. I'm sure you can see this on the video. I mean, this image quality looks really good. I'm on a 1440p monitor right now watching 1080p. And um, it looks really, really nice. And everything is really smooth here. I'll actually switch over to controller when we jump in a match. So it's easy, easier for me to talk and, and run around. But um, very smooth. All right. Got the champion paladin protector. Now, I like the lore. The story of Hyperscape is really cool. And they have the comics and everything. I just feel like another anime skin. The player base is hurting. And the game is hurting a little bit because it is a little difficult to approach. Like I said, I'm a 35-year gamer. I'm good at a lot of different games. I'm not the best at all games, but I'm good at a lot of games. And I cannot get my skills into this guy i can't get my head around this game so good so much it's it's just a, a difficult game i'm not into the amount of verticality and jumping everywhere and it does get a little bit insane i'm more boots on the ground call of duty apex so let's check out the uh is this a gloomer Glo gloomer another cool they did a lot of a lot of blackout i'm surprised that the that the other legendary was not a blacked out version but that's really cool what else we have in here? We got the anime D tap. That's what I thought. I knew there was an anime D tap in here. Uh, I haven't seen a stutter since we've gotten in here. I don't know what'll happen when we load into a match, but uh, this is just running really, really nice. What else we got? Oh yeah, we've got the Assassin Blade Legendary. This guy looks really awesome. I think he'll probably be in part of my my thumbnail, but. Definitely have a soft spot for anything Assassin's Creed related. All right, we're almost through here. Another deployment pod. These pods are pretty cool. We've got another celebration. An anime protocol. Oh, pink. That's pretty cool. The weapons in this game, too. They're, they're really cool. I just... I don't know. I haven't been able to get anything really going on in Hyperscape, but I'm going to mess around with Season 2. I'm going to give it another shot and see what, see what happens. Now, I had some, heard someone else mention that would be cool with some of these 
skins for the uh, the guns and whatnot would be if they had a little bit more like glow or effect, maybe particles coming off of them, just like some kind of cool something that makes them stand out even more than just the the regular skins. So let's see what we get at the end here. Level one hundred. So on the free tier, you get DYHR Lemon. You get the dancing robot dude. <clears throat> so this is your champion, and then you get a Mandine Spark for your premium level 100 all right all right so that's a that's a quick as i could go there a little bit of a look at our uh at our battle pass for season two for hyperscape so let's go ahead and jump into a match we can have a laugh at me running around in there and uh we'll see what it feels like what the latency is feeling like and how the game's doing now that we are into season two so Let's go in here. And also, Faction War. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, I haven't followed this game closely until starting again this week. Uh, Faction War is new to Season 2. Uh, it's not a mode that I had played before uh, or that was in here before when I was playing. So definitely going to jump into that. That's what I've done about two or three rounds of so far. Um, I haven't got any kills in there, but I've had fun running around there. I've got the new weapon a couple times the Atrax um, explosive ammo uh, weapon. So if it hits someone, it explodes, or if it misses them and sticks somewhere, there's like a, a countdown timer, and then it'll explode and do like some AOE. So uh, let me speed us past the uh, matchmaking here, and then we'll uh, we'll get into uh, entering the match. All right, guys, real quick, we're in a little holding area right here before the match, and this was another area that uh, I used to get a lot of stutters. Uh, and on the 1080 and on the 2060, that hasn't been any issue in the rounds I've been playing. This has been smooth even in here in the waiting area. If you've played this game on GeForce Now, when it first, first came out, you'll know um, that especially on the 1080C rig, there were some, some issues with the stuttering and lagging, but most of that is pretty much all gone. I haven't experienced anything like that yet since we've gotten on here for this video and earlier with the 1080, only a couple of little stutters. Everything was really good. And even just waiting in here, latency and, um, and just smoothness of everything is feeling really, really nice. Definitely feels like there's been some up updates to the game, and I know GeForce Now has had a few updates as well since I have played this last time. So pretty cool to see that already we're doing doing so much better here. Which is nice because with competitive games like Hyperscape, Apex Legends, Fortnite, things like that on the service, you really want low latency. You really want everything working really well. And I feel like GeForce Now... Um, tends to offer that especially if you have a decent internet connection i feel like this service has come a long ways this year and it's definitely one of my favorite cloud gaming services and speaking of which shout out to geforce now and uh they noticed the channel and they actually supplied me with this battle pass for the video really cool really appreciate it hopefully our small community here can continue to grow and we can keep doing things with them in the future so all right let's get into the match and uh we'll see what it feels like once we get in there maybe we can find that new uh, Atrax weapon as well. My little plane pod. Like I said, this is not... Uh, I only played this game for like the first week when it first came out. And I did not do a lot. But we'll follow my guys here. And uh, the more important thing for me is just to see how the game feels and how it's playing for you guys. So that you can go in here and kick some ass and kill some people and... You can laugh at me trying to run around and find weapons. It's just not my uh, my style. Titanfall 2, though, man, love that game. I do so well in that game, and uh, so I thought, you know, with the way that game is set up, it would help me in this one, but it really doesn't. I really like how the weapons, uh, like I really like the style of this game, the art. The weapons, it's really cool. I just feel like there's so much verticality. There's so much going on with the game that's very challenging. And I feel like part of the issue with player base and and other things is just the approachability in the front of the game. I don't even see very many big streamers playing it, but I'm hoping that with Season 2 and some more updates and things going on that they can get maybe something going because it seems to be really hard to break in to the whole to the battle royale genre it's just you either take off or you don't and i feel like hyperscape is kind of in the middle right now um but as far as how this game is running and how it feels on here right now i'm on 165 hertz monitor i, I have a nice gaming uh, pc here and a few pcs there's a little stutter 
Um, and as far as the latency and input lag, the controls, it feels really nice. It feels really close to, and I've said that before about GeForce now that sometimes the, uh, the input and the latency and stuff feels almost as good as local. Of course, no cloud gaming matches a local experience right now, but most of the time it's really good. Yeah, I know. It was bad, but we assisted, all right? We assisted. Let me in, let me in, let me in. No, no. I was hoping to find a better weapon in there and, and get him. I should have used my wall or my shockwave, but like I said, it's uh, is what it is. It's the closest respawn we got. That's one cool thing about this mode, though, is you do have the chance of of a respawn, which is really cool. So maybe I can squad up with a couple of friends and we can actually have some fun in here with this. I'll definitely be giving it a chance. The art style and the the lore of this game is so good. I really enjoy it. I just have no skill in it whatsoever. Yeah, he was going to res me and then that guy came in. That's why I ran out. I do like this uh, this mode where you have a lot more teammates and you got the respawn. See, I don't remember there being anything like this before. I could definitely get down with uh, adjusting my controls, getting a couple of friends in here and trying to, to do that. I think maybe squad base or larger team base and more different fun modes in here that that really change up the gameplay. Like I could definitely see enjoying this mode with the respawns and... Well, the res is anyway. I don't know if they're respawns so much, but keep hearing people, but it's teammates. It's freaky. All right, we got a heal. We got a shock wave. We got teammates around. We might not have the best weapons, but. There's all that going on at. A faction has been eliminated. Victory. All right. Look at that. I didn't even have to do a lot. All right. So, yeah, guys. Game feels great on GeForce now. As always, it feels better than it did at launch for sure. Season 2 looks like it definitely has some potential. I'm kind of looking forward to playing some more of this mode and trying to get a little bit more time with hyperscape maybe get the skills up a little bit more adjust my controls all that kind of stuff but latency input lag visual quality of the graphics the stream everything here looked really good was feeling really good played nicely so um the only downfall was my skills in there but hey we did win anyway so thanks a lot for coming to check out the video guys i really appreciate it hit that subscribe button if you haven't already ring that notification bell give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below if you're still playing hyperscape do you play it on geforce now i really like this service so thanks again for coming to check out the video i'll see you in the next one